Hi guys, in this video we will see a quick demonstration uh, what is Docker Compose, how we can use it to build our Docker services and make a big benefit from it. So, um, first of all, what is Docker Compose? Docker Compose is a tool for defining and running multi-container Docker applications. What does it mean? It, in general, it's an orchestration for all your containers uh, when you're working in development mode and, and you, when you're working on, on your computer. So you can orchestrate all the containers all together uh, in a network for itself. So you can managing all your containers all together in one command and Let's give an example. Uh, I found before for, before that uh, just uh, go to the Docker Compose. Uh, you need to install Docker Compose. So go to their site, and I have Ubuntu. So let's search for Ubuntu and Linux, probably. Yeah. And uh, so you have an installation for Mac, Windows, or Linux. I have Linux, so. Just copy those commands and that's it, basically. Uh, just after you finish to verify that you actually you have Docker Compose, you can do minus minus version to see which version you have. And you can see all the other cool commands of Docker Compose. Uh, you have build, bundle, and all this stuff. Um, actually, the most uh, usable stuff that you can find here it's the build command which build or rebuild the all the services all together i'll show you in a couple of minutes exec to uh, execute the command in the running container which we'll see later and you have the app command which it starts the container uh, scaling if you want to duplicate the containers and making a copy of them and you have the PS, which is very useful. And we see all these those command in a couple of minutes. So I found a, a cute project uh, two minutes before this video, uh, just to emphasize the abilities of Docker Compose. So you can see here there is Docker Compose YAML, which you can see all the services. Uh, and when I say services, I meaning I'm, I mean like this is all the docker files that this system is using you have two containers you have the web container and you have the mongo container and the web container uses the mongo container so this is basically all their system and you can see that they are using uh, this is the docker file image that they are using it's probably in this place let's look for it for a second okay this is the docker file they are using and this is what they are building and <clears throat> let's go back so as you can see they have the web service which is built from this image and this is the command that they are using to run this is um, instead of the command that is inside the docker the docker file it replaces it and they open the ports 3000 so we can do localhost 3000 later this is our the volume they are using and we speak about this in a, other videos and it says it depends on mongo so when you are when docker compose will start this service it will also start the mongo container and it they opening the those ports for mongo this is our default port of mongo so let's take this cute project and go to the command line and let's make a folder in the desktop Let's call it cool proj. Okay, let's go to cool proj and let's clone this project. 
Okay, let's wait for uh, one minute uh, till it finish. Okay, so it's finished. Uh, let's go inside the directory of the project. As you can see, this is the docker compose uh, yaml file. So now I can I can run this command. If there is a docker compose yaml file in the in the directory, I can use the docker compose uh, command. So let's see if there is there is no container containers at the moment. Um, so let's build those contain the let's build the docker compose yaml file. Now what we are saying is that the docker compose building all the images from the docker compose file. Before what you need to do if you're just using docker you need to build the mongo and the web containers separately. Now I, I'm building all the containers all together because I built it, I built them before, it took a short time. Now I use the app command to start all the services. And generally in the first time when you're doing app, it also will build your containers, but I just want to show you. So let's use the app command. Uh, now, you, now you see that it starts the two containers, the Mongo and the web container. And uh, it's stuck for a moment, okay. Now you can see all the logs from the containers, which is a big mess. So we stop it for a second. So um, if I'm doing Docker Compose PS to see the running containers, I can see that uh, two of them were exit. So let's up again, but with minus D. So it will run in the background. Now it started those two containers. Let's do PS to see. Okay, they are both up. As you can see, it's uh, allocated to port 3000 in the web. So now we can go to localhost 3000 and it's set to use uh, the Mongo at the moment so let's come back and now I can uh, let's go inside the container if I will do docker compose zek web bash I can go inside the running container and I can check all the files and stuff and if I want to see uh, I don't know some logs I can do logs minus f web and see all the uh, logs from the running container if I want to make a duplication I can do scale web 4 and now I am having four running containers of the same container but because I haven't, uh, they haven't defined in uh, reverse proxy and stuff like that, it probably have some problem. Uh, because it's already bind for port 3000 and you can't bind them all together to the same port. This is a little bit more advanced for this uh, scope of this video. We probably will speak about it in the other videos. So, let's clear it for a moment. So, for now, we have a Two running containers are three other containers that have been exit. So um, let's tear down all the containers. Now they all stopped and it also removed the network. Um, that's it basically. You can, as you can see, Docker Compose really helping you to manage all your services all together if you are, if you are using the, a lot of microservices, let's say like, I don't know, five, 10, even two or three, it's also really helpful. It can give you all the orchestration between the containers. It creates the network for you. You can, in just in a little commands, you can 
have a lot of benefit and uh, that's basically it thanks guys